Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's training session. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to join us today. We do appreciate it. My name is Doug Cook. I'm the publisher of Jack's Facts Travel Marketing. And today I'm joined by Harish Shroff, who's the director of sales for Indus Travels, and also Justin Weigel, who is the business development manager for Indus Travels. Today's presentation will be all about selling groups. We'll cover topics such as benefits of selling group tours, where to find the groups, why now is the best time to plan and book a group, and also some information on how travel and destinations will evolve post-COVID-19. Uh, just a reminder that there will be time for questions after the presentation, so please do jot those down in the space provided, and we promise to get to those. And also, please take note that there is a handout there available to you, which is Indus's uh, brochure on how to become a group leader. So please take advantage of downloading that. And now let me turn things over to Harish. Good afternoon. Thank you, Doug. Thank you very much for organizing this webinar. Um, it's our pleasure to present this to the group. So yeah, let me begin by thanking everyone for attending this webinar, uh, how to sell groups and um, benefit of booking group travel. I am Harish Shrav, Director of Sales. And um, I know this year has been one of the worst year for travel partners. And that is why we are doing these webinars to assist agents how to set them up for a group, how they can really start doing business for next year. Uh, there's a lot of prediction that the traditional business and the planned leisure travel will uh, come back sooner than predicted. So therefore, it will create a lot of opportunities for travel industry. And that's why we are here to support you all. The clients will be more selective in uh, you know, carefully planning their travel, uh, looking at cleanliness, safety, size, uh, security, uh, whereas in the past they might have compromised all these uh, on price. So definitely COVID-19 has brought uh, families and friends and loved ones together. And even as things start getting back to normal, uh, people will have this emotional need to travel with people they know and trust. Uh, so tour operators like us are already planning uh, trips that will have these bonding activities uh, where there will be human connection. With me is uh, Justin Weigel. He's the business development manager and he's been in the travel industry for 10 years. Uh, he truly believes in the power of uh, understanding different cultures. He's traveled to seven continents and over 50 uh, countries. So he really knows the importance of travel uh, and he will show you how uh, Indus Travel works with our travel partners. Uh, over to you, Justin. All right. Thank you, Harish. Thank you for that glowing review. Really do appreciate that. And uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us here this afternoon. Um, quickly, just going to be um, going over some benefits of booking private groups. Uh, right now, more than ever, I think uh, the private group experience uh, is going to be a big trend post-COVID-19, really knowing who you're traveling with um, and really having these experiences, as Harish mentioned, to really connect with your friends and family through these immersive and experiences around the world. So without further ado, give me one quick second here. I might be experiencing some technical difficulties. I have to scroll down, probably. Uh, on your left hand side, uh, bottom, there is you will move your cursor to the left. Yeah, you ah, one more. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you kindly. All right. So on today's agenda, uh, who is Indus Travels? For those of you who may not be too familiar with us, uh, we'll go through, you know, what kind of ma what makes us unique um, in our story on uh, small group travel. Uh, why book with Indus Travels? Again, highlighting the benefits of uh, booking private group, group touring. Um, all the marketing support that we offer in terms of helping you market and sell to your client base. Uh, why now is the best time to plan? how travel will evolve post COVID-19 and how to tap into that group touring market. So who is Indus Travels? So we were established in 2001, uh, almost uh, 20 years old now. So we've uh, built a great network globally. So your, your clients are definitely in good hands when traveling the world with us. Uh, we are Canadian owned and operated um, tour operator as well. We're based in Vancouver with local offices around the world. So again, we've got great connections the world over. 
We're privately owned and independent, so that's really great. Um, we don't have to answer to a board of directors. We're really nimble to you know, make decisions and uh, depending on the market out there. Uh, we offer custom escorted tours. I think that's a big thing to drive home is that we offer fully customizable tours and independent vacations to over 50 countries worldwide. And of course, our tour packages are custom crafted to deliver unique experiences and exceptional value to our guests. So why book with Indus Travels? Really, we've got something out there for all travel tastes, whether you've got some clients that are history and culture buffs, uh, we really do try to immerse our passengers in that local culture and do as the locals do. Um, if you've got some food and wine enthusiasts, we run some really great culinary experiences as well. Safari trips for those wildlife enthusiasts, particularly in Eastern and Southern Africa is really big for us. Uh, we just launched a line of active tours that include some cycling and hiking act, uh, options as well. Uh, we just also released uh, shortly before that some new wellness experiences around the world for those health and wellness ex um, experiences. So think like spas and yoga retreats, that sort of thing, some food and wine as well. And we also do some small ship cruising around the world. So think like um, Galapagos cruising on a small yacht, uh, small river cruises in Europe and on the Mekong in Southeast Asia as well. Um, again, I'm gonna, I might sound like a broken record about this uh, webinar, but I really want to just drive home that we are fully customizable and that is very uh, big, unique selling feature when booking with Indus Travels. We really want to tailor make the experience to the needs of your guests. So really, you could take one of our published departures, uh, use that as a blueprint, and then make it your own. If you want to add dates, if you want to strip away dates, if you want to add activities, meals, upgrade the accommodations, Really, um, we're here to work with you and tailor made that perfect trip for your club, for your guests. We offer very co comfortable accommodations as well. So you're looking at standard, superior and deluxe hotels, clean, comfortable, centrally located. Uh, value for money is a big highlight as well. We offered what we like to call unbundled experiences. So beyond your airfare, your transport, your transfers, um, local transportation, your accommodation, most of your major highlights. But beyond that, everything is just up to the needs of your group. So if you want to add those optional activities, or if you just want to um, off the cuff experiences, maybe one afternoon you decide that maybe you want to do a cooking class that afternoon or go check out a temple, you can do that, uh, but it's unbundled. So you can add as much or as little as you like to that experience. And of course, we've got some very knowledgeable staff. We've been in business for almost 20 years. Uh, when booking private groups with us, you'll actually get a dedicated groups coordinator that'll handle your file logistically. Um, so you'll have one point of contact to create that perfect experience for your clients. And of course, we've got some expert local guides when your clients are actually having this trip and destination um, that are there to guide your clients through, uh, through, through those amazing destinations around the world. All right, now I'll quickly go over some of our more popular destinations. We'll start uh, in Latin America and make our way east. So first, uh, Costa Rica, perennial favorite. Um, you know, Costa Rica is great for those beach lovers, adventure lovers, uh, wildlife enthusiasts, amazing beaches, active volcanoes, hot springs, abundant wildlife, lush jungles, friendly locals, uh, and really becoming a hotspot for uh, health and wellness experiences as well. Uh, moving further south into Peru, of course, the first thing that people think of when they hear Peru is Machu Picchu, and believe you me, the hairs on the back of your neck will stand up at first sight at Machu Picchu, but there's so much more to Peru than just Machu Picchu. Um, it's got the Amazon jungle, it's got the Andes, it's got a beautiful coastline, uh, bustling Lima, and the food in Peru is second to none. Some of the best seafood I've ever had has been in, in Lima for sure. And uh, that cuisine is finally getting its uh, recognition globally as well. Uh, their Peruvian cuisine, they're just too proud to give you a bad meal. You will not be disappointed, trust, trust me. Then moving over to Brazil, uh, the largest country in South America and the only Portuguese speakers on the continent. 60% uh, of the Amazon is found in Brazil. So again, for those wildlife enthusiasts, uh, if you've got um, some, some travelers that wanna go into the Amazon rainforest, uh, particularly in the Pantanal region, uh, abundant wildlife, birds, caimans, anacondas, you name it. Um, so great destination for that. Bustling cities like Rio and Sao Paulo. I think I read a stat the other day that 13 cities in Brazil have a population of over a million people. 
just insanity. Uh, the largest carnival, of course, samba and soccer are life uh, and home to an incredibly diverse culture as well, the indigenous people and European and African ancestry. Uh, so very diverse in Brazil. And then moving a little further south into Argentina and perhaps the only dance more important than samba to Brazil is tango to Argentina. The land of steak and red wine, if that's your thing, this is your paradise. Uh, the wine region up in Mendoza is, you know, crafting some of the best red wines, particularly their Malbecs uh, in the world. Also, Iguazu Falls, one of the new seven wonders of the world, uh, up in the north, amazing waterfalls. And home to the world's best footballer, again, uh, Mr. Lionel Messi, but some of my Portuguese friends might argue with me there. The jury's still out on that one, uh, but I'm a Messi guy myself. All right, let's uh, shift gears a little bit and move over to Europe. So when you're looking at places like Spain, oh my God, I love Spain. One of my favorite places on earth, uh, the food, the wine, the culture. Um, how can you disagree with the culture that invented the siesta? Uh, just a brilliant concept, if you ask me. Uh, and the people from every region are just fiercely proud of their heritage and it shows in everything they do. Uh, the regional dishes, architecture, music, dance. Uh, I could go on and on and on. Uh, the Gaudi architecture in Barcelona. Um, Park Gual, uh, Sagrada Familia, just amazing destination. And then uh, moving over to Italy. So really, what more can be said about Italy that hasn't been said already? World famous food and wine, pizza, pasta, gelato, Chianti's, uh, rich history and culture, the Renaissance, of course, amazing art, architecture, the Vatican, Roman ruins, the Colosseum, as you see here. Um, on a side note, I don't want to bring the mood down, but I'm actually supposed to be honeymooning in Italy at the moment, but uh, the universe had other plans for us, but don't shed a tear for me. We'll get there eventually. All right, let's move into Israel in the Holy Land. Uh, now, we are a world leader in religious pilgrimage tours, uh, and Israel definitely sits at top of our list. Incredible history, uh, home to the world's largest religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, famous Mediterranean food, uh, the delicious falafel was invented here, but don't tell that to my friends in Jordan. Uh, and fun fact, the only country in the world that has more trees than it did 50 years ago. Uh, that might pop up on Jeopardy one day, you never know. The way to go, Israel. All right, and let's move uh, to the dear cousins, uh, Jordan. Now, I look back very fondly uh, my time in Jordan. Of course, Petra, again, one of the new seven wonders of the world. Uh, but uh, it really took my breath away when we went into the desert in Wadi Rum and we were stargazing under the moon, moonlit sky. And I've never had that kind of stargazing experience in my life. Uh, it was just fantastic. Uh, of course, you can check out the Dead Sea as well. Uh, and the food in Jordan, very similar to that Mediterranean cuisine. You'll see there's a bit of a common theme here. I like to travel with my stomach. Uh, so I always talk about the food and I think Food is one of those universal languages that everyone can understand as well. Uh, and the food won't, you, you know, you point it here either. Pitas, falafel, hummus, baba ganoush, um, some of the sweetest tea I've ever had in Jordan as well. In my personal experience, they like it sweet. It's more, more like you know, a cup of sugar with a spot of tea. Um, so consult your dentist before going to Jordan, perhaps. All right, uh, moving over to South Africa. So I was lucky enough to spend some time in Cape Town a couple of years back and it absolutely stole my heart. Uh, very metropolitan, diverse mix of cultures. Uh, within a 30 minute drive of Cape Town, you could be you know, checking out some world-class wineries, then head to Boulders Beach and uh, hang out with the little uh, penguins. Uh, of course, Stellenbosch Gardens there, the garden route, that drive is one of the most picturesque drives on the planet. And of course, when you think of South Africa, uh, the game drives and the nature reserves for those wildlife enthusiasts always comes to mind and home to Kruger National Park, which is probably the most world famous game reserve on the planet. Uh, so South Africa, one of our top destinations as well. And then moving over to Asia and India. So I mentioned uh, I like to travel with my stomach and if you don't like Indian food, I'm not entirely sure we can be friends. One of my favorite cuisines on the planet. I absolutely love Indian food. Um, when you think of India, the iconic Taj Mahal will come to mind, of course, another wonder of the seven wonders of the new world, but uh, definitely vibrant culture, colorful celebrations, uh, Bollywood and the Hindi film uh, industry. 
It's also a very spiritual place. So for health and wellness and yoga enthusiasts, uh, big destination, uh, incredibly diverse country, it's just huge, right? And it differs in every different region, the food, the culture, the festivals, that sort of thing. So vibrant India, so many things to see and do in such a large and amazing country. I'm then moving over to Thailand, the land of a thousand smiles, uh, beautiful beaches that you see here in the south. Up in the north, you've got some rolling hills if you wanted to do some trekking. Uh, up in near Chiang Mai. And of course, Chiang Mai and Bangkok are the two big bustling cities to check out. Um, you know, another wellness destination as well. Uh, it's quickly becoming a very uh, popular destination for wellness. So, you know, stand up paddle boarding, especially, has become all the rage in the well health and wellness movement. And I don't know how many photos I've seen online of people doing stand up paddle boarding lately in uh, Thailand, a big destination. Uh, it's got an incredible tourism infrastructure as well. Very easy to get around and they're very welcoming to, to uh, Western travelers. And of course, again, amazing Thai food. Can't go wrong with a good bowl of uh, uh, rice and curry and delicious seafood, chicken skewers, pad thai, I can go on and on and on. All right, and lastly, uh, Vietnam. So incredible history, both recent and historic. Uh, if anyone's ever been Ho Chi Minh City, 11 million people, 9 million motorbikes. Uh, it could be an adventure just crossing the street in Ho Chi Minh. If uh, you haven't experienced it for yourself, a quick YouTube search uh, will give you a good laugh. Uh, but of course, uh, beautiful uh, Da Nang for some uh, beach time along the coast. This photo you see here, overnight junk boat cruise in Halong Bay. Uh, we also offer some river cruising on the Mekong, which is a really great experience. And uh, do yourself a favor like I did in Hoi An. I had myself a suit made and it fit like a glove, if uh, I do say so myself. Let's go uh, 12 of our most popular destinations around the world. And now let's talk a bit about uh, what you can expect on one of our group tours. So smaller groups, as I mentioned before, groups of 10 or up, that's uh, where we come in with our private group departures. Uh, local interaction, those local expert guides are there to really take our guests off the tourist trail and really immerse them in that local culture. It's like local interaction, spontaneous encounters, off the cuff adventures that really aren't planned for. But when you've got a local guide with you, they can take you into those places that you might perhaps be a little apprehensive to kind of check out if you're traveling on your own. Uh, happy travelers, of course, that's really what we're aiming for. Uh, we ask our, our clients to, to travel with a spirit of adventure and an open mind. And all this leads up to that ex uh, exceptional experience. Uh, accommodations. So as I mentioned before, we've got standard um, superior and deluxe accommodations. These are hand-picked accommodations, clean, comfortable, centrally located. A lot of these properties will also have, you know, pools, spas, restaurants, a nice lobby bar, that sort of thing. So all those uh, amenities that you can expect from the big chains uh, and just a beautiful kind of hand-picked selection of uh, accommodations that we like to use. We want to make sure our guests are comfortable uh, when it comes to you know resting their laying their head at night the transportation that we use is typically a luxury motor coach vehicles but for those smaller groups say 10 to 15 people we also offer a private uh, mini bus touring as well um, you don't really need that big bus for a smaller group but when you get uh, the numbers closer to 20 and above then typically it'll be one of these luxury motor coach tour buses and as I mentioned before, those local expert guides. So you've got a local guide that will accompany your group from day one to day, you know, the last day of the tour. Uh, but when you're in places like say Kruger National Park, for example, you'll have one of the park rangers that will guide your group through the national park, um, spotting all your uh, big five, all your, your game and your wildlife. Or for another example, if you're in Machu Picchu, um, you will actually be accompanied by a local expert whose job it is to day in, day out, explain all the wonders of Machu Picchu itself. So you get that added insight from those local expert guides along the tour. And perhaps my favorite slide, included meals. Uh, daily breakfasts are always included with uh, all of our experiences, some of your lunches and some of your dinners. Now we don't include all of the meals because you know we know a lot of travelers have their own tastes and their own budgets when it comes to mealtime. Uh, but however, private groups, we do find that some of them like to have all their meals together. We could add all those in if you like. So really flexible that way. You as the locals do is always a big thing for us. 
So street food, local delicacies, and really just follow your nose and explore. Uh, food plays a big role when you're traveling to check out the different cuisines that this planet has to offer. Um, so mealtime is always a big highlight when I'm traveling. Uh, trip durations. So you're looking at typically anywhere from a week to two weeks. It's kind of our bread and butter. Uh, but again, if you've got some clients that are looking to spend three, four weeks at a time, if they've got the time to spend, uh, we can definitely, you know, link up a few tours together or we can custom build something that suits the needs of your clients. All right, and some of the benefits of private group touring. A couple of big things to keep in mind, the earning potential. So when you ask us for a quote, we will quote you at net and you can provide the markup. Nobody knows your clients like you do, so the earning potential is really uncapped. Uh, again, it's a net quote and you go and mark up as you see fit. Free spots. Typically, we give free spots to 20 to 1, but we can price it as low as 10 to 1, so a free spot for every 10 passengers. Um, you can use that free spot as a tour conductor role, so if you wanted to work with someone, say a yoga instructor, and have them market that experience to their yoga studio, then you can actually use that as an incentive for them to want to sell to their clients, and you can give them that spot. Or if you wanted to travel for free with the group, you can take that spot as well. Or third option, if you want to pocket that as bonus commission, just sell all spots, you can do that as well. We also offer group airfare. So these uh, quotes are built from most major gateways out of North America, and we can also do uh, free spots for the airfare as well. On the marketing support, I've got a couple slides in, a, in a, just a couple quick minutes that will give you a bit more information, but we do a website, we've got flyers, we can help you with social media, and we can do consumer events and virtual consumer events as well, um, given the day and age that we live in at the moment. So different types of tours. As I mentioned before, we've got something for all travel tastes. If you're looking uh, to put together a trip that focuses more on culture, history, we can do that. If you want a bit more of a culinary experience, add a few dinners, some food and wine tastings, that sort of thing. Small ship cruising, river cruising in Europe, uh, very popular these days. As I mentioned before, we just released some active tours as well with some active elements. So some hiking, some cycling, that sort of thing. I should also point out that you don't need to be a superhuman to take our active tours. Our active tours were built for all fitness levels. So whether, you know, you will be doing some cycling on the tour, but it's not a quote unquote cycle tour. Uh, if you kind of catch my drift, there will be some elements of cycling, but it's not like that's the only way you'll be getting around. Um, so uh, religious pilgrimages as well, as I mentioned, we're a world leader in religious pilgrimage tours. Um, so there really is something for everybody with this. And in terms of marketing support, so as I mentioned, we'll actually build a little micro site on our website. And this has all of your information on it. So you can send your clients here and they will learn everything they, sorry, they'll have everything they need to know about that particular tour. So we did this tour dazzling Dubai for Chanda a couple of years back uh, for her 50th birthday. Her friends and family could log on to the website, check out the pricing, the dates, the itinerary, accommodation with photos of the accommodation types as well. If we had some clients on that trip in the past, they could check out some reviews if they happen to review that uh, particular tour. Everything you know need to know before you book. Frequently asked question. You can actually uh, section and you can actually compare some different trips as well. And I think a big feature that we should keep in mind is that your clients can actually go in and book through the website as well. So it kind of takes that work away from you, um, less work on your plate. You can focus your efforts on some other things, maybe some more marketing stuff, that sort of thing. And uh, basically they can book, book right through the website. And then when it, when it comes to uh, traditional marketing, we've got some flyers that we, we always print up as well. So a couple of years back, we did a trip with Chef Massimo Capra who's a famous Italian chef here in Toronto where I'm based. And basically he took a group of his uh, following basically to Tuscany for a little food and wine experience. Uh, again, so similar to that uh, ex uh, example that I used with the yoga instructor, you can actually do that with uh, a local chef or a restaurateur, anyone that has a following that you'll, you know, you can give them that incentive of a free trip if they want to go and market that to their clients. So it's win-win. And then some more marketing support. That's uh, Harish's beautiful face in the middle there. Say hello, Harish. 
Uh, so we love to do consumer. We understand given the time right now, most of these consumer events are done virtually, but we do live events as well. If you look at the right hand side, this was actually an event that Harish did and he wasn't actually there, but they got a group of potential clients in the room and we did one virtually with the group. So there's always that option as well. And then some financing solutions through Uplift. So Uplift is a really cool uh, company that uh, came up with this idea to finance people's travels. So you actually, um, um, Uplift will pay the tour, pay for the tour, and then you pay monthly installments to Uplift. Uh, so it makes it very easy just to pay a monthly fee as opposed to paying it all at once. Uh, minimum deposit of $500. Final payment is due 90 days prior to departure. You work on that monthly payment plan. They can finance that as well. Um, so again, you pay through, your clients pay through Uplift, taking that work off your plate. And we also offer full travel insurance for our, our guests as well. So let's shift gears a bit. Uh, why now is the best time to plan? Uh, as we know, our, our you know, uh, industry that we are in right now is just screaming for forward business. And with that, there's some incredibly great deals out there on the market. And we are trying to make things as, uh, as easy and as appealing uh, for your clients to you know, bring their consumer confidence back and want to book future travel. So we're doing absolutely risk-free deposits. So zero deposits are required to hold space on these group tours and also flexible cancellation and refund policies. So basically, if your client has to refund before 90 days to departure, it's 100% back uh, into your client's pockets. If for any chance they have to cancel inside 90 days to departure, any money on file will be converted into a future travel credit. So no deposits up front to hold space. We can block off the space for you that you can then go and market to your clientele and you have that peace of mind knowing all these flexible cancellation policies. Uh, just a great time to start planning right now. And how travel and destinations will evolve post COVID-19. As I mentioned at the top of the presentation, private groups is gonna be a huge thing going forward. Um, you're seeing a lot of operators come up with like the, the booking in your social circle or social bubble. So you know who you're traveling with. You've got your friends and your family and um, you know you can book with confidence and travel with confidence knowing that everyone that you're traveling with. You're gonna see some stricter screening measures. You're already seeing them at the airports. You're gonna see them at hotels. You're gonna see them at museums as well. People, you know, um, asking you to fill out a small little questionnaire, people taking temperature checks, that sort of thing. That is going to become the new norm um, for the foreseeable future. You're going to see a lot of contactless technologies as well. So the chip tap pay system on your debit or your credit card. Um, so you don't have to be touching any uh, surfaces. Health and well-being checks. This is another thing that I've been um, seeing recently in the industry. So your tour guide will go through additional training to understand like the um, the signs of uh, health and well-being and check in with their passengers every now and then to see how they're doing uh, and then the last three this is going to be part and parcel face coverings sanitization and distancing measures this is the new normal and we're all going to have to band together uh, and really come together to ensure that everyone feels safe and comfortable while traveling with us so I'm going to throw it over to our commander in chief, Mr. Harish Shah, and he's going to walk you through um, how he has some success in the past on gathering these small groups. Excellent. Show screen. Thank you, Justin. So excellent. Uh, I'm sure with all this information, you have now so many tools in your hand. You have understood what Indus Travel has to offer. And uh, you will you might be now thinking, where do I begin or what should I do? So I'm going to run through a few slides to tell you what other partners have done with us and how they have been successful. So to start with, why group travel? You know, uh, as uh, Justin already explained a few things, right now there is going to be a lot of uh, uh, influx of calls because clients have been waiting for quite some time at their home. So you will find in the next six to eight weeks, there will be a lot of calls from clients who want to do their future planning. 
And how we know that is we also did some survey and we found out all these answers that clients are going to start their planning in the next three to four months, which is going to be in the next uh, six to eight weeks. So that's one of the thing, you know, that you will really find now that people will start calling you. The other thing would be, as this COVID-19 has brought families and friends together, there will be a lot of requirement for private, small gathering travel in exclusive destinations. So this will be the right time for you to be proactive to plan and plan these uh, life enhancing uh, trips or life uh, changing experiences uh, with your groups. And also, and obviously for obvious reason, there has been a pent up demand, like, you know, people have not been able to travel anywhere. They've been sitting in their apartments. So this would be the right time that they would start calling to um, book their trips. Also uh, in another survey, uh, there has been, um, you know, the results has been that there will be two types of travel that will start very fast. One is business travel. People want to go to meetings, conferences, that would be the first one. And the second one would be leisure travel. In leisure travel would be luxury getaways uh, and also ex exotic uh, locations and uh, private safaris. So as you know, these trips require at least 12 to 18 months uh, to plan in a normal uh, circumstances. But now with pandemic and the pent up demand and the you know requirements that will start coming up, clients will have to plan a little more earlier because there might be a shortage or unavailability also um, in the future. Now, where would you find these groups? We have done groups in the past uh, from small to 20 uh, people, all the way up to 100 um, passengers on a group. You know, I've done a group of 113 to Italy, 150 to Israel, uh, 96 to Portugal. Um, it's not going to be the same now. It's not going to be th those kind of groups. Majority of the groups will be smaller groups, 20 to 30 passengers. And these kind of groups can be formed anywhere. You will be surprised to see there are there are so many associations, clubs, and places where you can actually form these groups. I've listed a few of them. Church. Um, this is one of the you know easiest and fastest place that you can go. And whenever I meet an agent or uh, I connect with a group leader, I've asked them, "Have you done a trip with your church?" And most of the time, the answer is no. Either they didn't think about that, or they never approach their uh, pastor. So th this is really one of the fastest growing um, groups that will be there. Libraries, they, they have reading clubs. There are so many social groups, uh, business network. Uh, there are places like wellness, yoga center. Uh, there are many places that you can really form these small, small groups, uh, which will start now, you know, coming up for, for travel program. There could be some other little more higher end uh, groups that you can do uh, golf club because you know that's really a niche market uh, that's one of the places where if you know somebody in the in in the golf uh, world or you are a member with a golf club you can start talking to them once you know the right people and you ask them if they have done a fundraising program or have would they like to be associated with a charity with a small portion of the revenue going uh, to to the to the charity like the donation or something um, you will get to know that these people have never uh, thought of these travel programs or they have never thought of doing such trips. Once you sit down and make a list of people that you know and whom you think you can approach, uh, could be your friends, your family members. Uh, coming back to the same example of church, you may know people in other cities. They can connect you with the pastor or you may know somebody in another group in another city like Rotary Club, Lions Club, they can connect you with the right person. So reaching out to these people would be very, very important so that you can explain to them what this group travel is and how they can travel uh, together. And keep in mind, necessary, it doesn't have to be necessary selling right away, just explaining them the concept that if they have done a group travel before and would they be interested, would open up the doors for you um, with these groups. Um, once you have identified these uh, groups, once you know whom you want to target, whether it's a Rotary Club or it's a Chamber of Commerce or it's a church or it's just like a you know a family and friends group, it's very important that you connect with the person or you be part of that group or uh, really find out if they, they would be interested uh, to do these travel programs. Once you know that, you can you know offer your products, you can offer your services. The more the people know you, the more the people 
understand what your uh, services are, the more chances are that you will get this business. And keep in mind, we keep forgetting people want to do business with people they know and trust. So that would be really one way is to attend their meetings, uh, put your information in their bulletin or newsletter. And I really like to highlight this is about travel talks. You know, I've, I've shown this to my uh, travel partners and uh, group leaders. They've really been successful. Do an event wherein you're just talking about a destination. Um, right now, we are doing virtual presentations. So if you if you can, you know, form a group, we can do a virtual presentation about any destination uh, that you want to showcase them. And as they see the destination, as they get answers for all the all the questions that they have, there's always a possibility that they want to uh, think about traveling to those places. So the clients have a lot of questions. They want to travel. Uh, they're not ready to make a decision, but if you help them in giving them more and more information, they would be more than glad um, to talk to you and be open uh, about the travel programs. Also, I always highlight to my partners, uh, please go ahead and read this um, theory. It's called the Red Ocean and the Blue Ocean. There is businesses out there. There are a lot of businesses, um, you know, uh, doing travel programs. Not necessary. You need to go behind them. Uh, if you if you are fighting in the same market, you're only going to fight for price. It's always good to create your own market. As you reach out to these uh, clubs, these associations, these uh, uh, other people who have never done these groups before, they will be loyal to you once they start with you. Once they start traveling with you, I'm I have partners who've been working with me for eight nine years, and they've been doing group with the same group for eight nine years. So. It really is a partnership, you know, so you can build your own new segment. Uh, we we do help you at the end of my presentation. I'll introduce you to all the BDMs we have. We do one-to-one -one sessions also. We help you out in making this whole plan. So it's always better to look for new market and build uh, from there. Also, there are some places where you can start. Um, I purposely put this picture um, you can st if this is like your part time and you know this is not your full time job and you have a second job and hopefully this is your second job and everybody is looking forward to having such a, a second job you will you can start from there you may know people in your company in your office that you've been meeting for so long but you never thought that he or she could be a group leader they could easily be a backpiper they could easily bring in 20 people uh, on a, on a group together or they could be the one who knows somebody in a church. They could be the one who knows somebody in the Lions Club who can get you uh, introduced to you. And also uh, re-highlighting on the point visibility. Um, be the one in the in the community, you know, uh, if you want to do some charity work, if you're in front of people, uh, the more you expose your travel business to people that they know you, uh, the more questions they will ask you what kind of groups you do or what kind of groups can we put together. So this will help you to really start and engaging the people to get more and more groups um, uh, from your places. Social media is really, really big. This is one of the fastest way of uh, reaching out your messages uh, to different communities, different places. You can be in New York, you could get a group from LA or you could be in another you know, place and you can really get group outside your community also. So use social media, you can have your own Facebook group. It has such a nice algorithm. You know, once you start using it, you'll find um, how it can reach you to other different places. So I have partners who are using this. Make it a little different, you know, try to add a personalized message, uh, add a video, uh, add, a, add a content that will be, you know, connecting you with the audience. That is very important. Uh, I'm re-highlighting it should not always be about selling. Uh, the more information you give, the more uh, kind of you're engaging with your clients and your community, the more uh, contacts you will make with them and uh, really get an opportunity to close some groups. Some key points, once you are connected, once you are uh, with the right person, once you have really um, you know, got them together to go on the group, there are a few things that you want to work with them to find out a, what is this group all about? If it's an affinity group, it's a, it's a say for example, on this photo, if it's a photographic tour, what kind of tour they would like to go together? And whichever tour you're selecting, whatever you are putting together for them, if it could be a photographic tour or 
um, you know, if it's a cooking club and they want to do a cooking tour, we can add one of those components on the tour. So we could have, for example, we've done it in the past. We've had a chef travel on the tour and they're doing one cooking lesson on the class. So everybody really enjoys to see how he's cooking in a destination in Morocco or in India. We've done that. Uh, also for painting, if that's the case, or photography. So once you have identified your group, what is their interest, what they would like to be added, we can actually make that uh, as a part of the group. So those people will really appreciate it. So you are now really attracting those people either from the group or who have interest for the photography or for the uh, tour that you have put together for them that will be really interesting. Where would they like to travel? Um, Justin has shown you so many destinations out there. Um, each and every destination has so much of history, culture, um, you know, wine tasting, food, really depends what the need of the customer is, if they're looking for wildlife or once we can sit down with you and really help you out with setting up all these different things, we can then really work on the destination for you where they would like to travel. And the last and the important thing would be when they would like to travel. Um, depending what kind of groups you have, if you have a group that is um, accounting, they can't travel in certain months, or if you have a you know group that is teachers, they cannot travel in a certain month. So they all have different needs. They all have different months that they are available to travel. Also the number of nights that they can travel. Uh, designing a travel program should be our you know like we will help you out to sit with you and set it up so that the group has the final and the end product um, once you know all all what they are looking for and really put a nice package for them that they would really like to enjoy and go and uh, be on the tour so that's a that's in a nutshell how you can really do this group travel um, that's my team we, we are all in all five people uh, we are really helping a lot of travel agents in different parts. So once the webinar is ended, we will send you more information. Uh, as I was telling you, we also do one-to-one -one session. Uh, we have a prime formula, um, which we have developed over the years, which is really very useful. So we give you from beginning till the end, how you can set up the group. Uh, we have all the material, the marketing material, how you can use that to implement. What's the next step to get your bookings in, how you close the group in, and and repeat business that's the that's the main focus um, uh, that we help you with getting repeat business because we really want to make sure that once you set up these groups once you're connected with the people they will repeat uh, year after year with you uh, with more and more experience so hope you really had a good input about indus travel what group travel is how you can uh, how we can help you to set it up and uh, this uh, brings me to the end of my session and then we will open it up for Q&A. Great, thank you Harish and thank you Justin for that great information. Um, Justin, I agree with you that as travel normalizes, people will want to travel with people that they know and trust and obviously group travel can be very profitable for travel advisors. So I think this information is very timely. Um, before we jump into the Q&A, let me just mention that this uh, Webinar has been recorded. It will be available on our website, which is jaxfacts.com, underneath the Advisor Resources tab. So please feel free to, to go back and reference any information you might need. All right, I think we do have a few questions here, so let's just jump right into them. Um, sure. the first, first question is, if we use your website, oops, bear with me one sec, it just jumped away. If we use your website in markup, do you charge a fee for processing that markup? No, uh, well, once we give you a net price and uh, you decide your selling price, we put it on the website. That link is very unique. The client cannot go anywhere else. It's like a mini website. He will uh, only stay there and we don't charge you anything extra um, uh, for the markup that you do uh, on, on the trip that we have quoted you. Excellent. Um, we also have a comment here that one of our advisors dealt with a um, gentleman from Indus for an Indonesia program, which unfortunately was canceled due to COVID, but they handled it very efficiently. And that brings up the next question is, can you talk about your group deposit and cancellation policies? Sure. 
so once the group is set up um, and you know we we have completed the process and it's ready to be launched once you give it to your clients the clients will start registering so the client has to pay five hundred dollars deposit uh, to book their spot to book their uh, uh, you know space and then balance will be 90 days before departure uh, that they have to pay but they also have the option in between if they want to come and pay extra we also have that facility on the website they can come online go because they will have their own personal account they can go into the account and make further payment so from our side it's five hundred dollars deposit once they're when they are registering themselves and then balance payment 90 days before departure wonderful um somebody's asking if you could put up your bdm list again and another comment relating to that is um, somebody was asking who your BDM for New York, New Jersey might be. So yeah, that's me for New York and New Jersey. Okay, great. Uh, another question is US agents, do they get paid in US or Canadian currency? So we handle both the markets. We have uh, travel partners in US, we have travel partners in um, uh, Canada also whatever quotation we are giving you if your quote is based on us dollar and your selling price is based on us dollars so you get paid in us dollar um, if you're working in canadian dollars your quote is canadian dollars and you're selling in canadian dollars your commission is in canadian dollars so whatever is the agreement we have a small agreement that we do before setting up everything um, and then accordingly we pay you in whichever currency we've agreed on okay great um you had mentioned that you can provide airfare somebody's asking if those are consolidator type contract fares yes uh we have uh roughly like last year we sent roughly around nine thousand passengers so we have amazing deals with different airlines when we do our negotiation with the airline they are actually called group fare and yes they are very good uh pricing it's our own pricing we are not buying from anybody else so if you're trying to compare with any other consolidator, we are confident that our pricing will be good. Perfect. Okay, another question regarding um, payment. Do you accept all major credit cards and do you provide a line item for their service fee? Uh, right now we're accepting Visa and uh, MasterCard. Uh, we are in the process of looking for American Express. So, but at the moment we're accepting two, Visa and Master. And uh, yes, once they uh, charge the card, uh, the client will have all the information. And once we charge the client, we also give an invoice to the agent that this is what was charged and processed. Okay. Um, question about who the BDM for Washington DC might be. Um, that's also me. So I will be okay. covering that area. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> Okay, unless anybody has any other questions, that looks like that wraps it up. Um, so in this uh, webinar, we only spoken briefly what we can do and how we can do. Um, this is really just an introduction, but when we partner, when we get connected, uh, we really help you through the whole process. It's just not that we give you a quotation and we tell you go out and sell it. No, we are like partners, you know, we will set you up so we'll tell you okay within a few days you're getting a flyer within a few days you're getting a webinar uh, sorry uh, the mini link uh, in and then we talk it out can we set up a webinar after a few days or would you like to do a presentation and of course in the past i don't know the situation now uh, if you had 20 people 25 people we would come down and do a presentation also so right now we are doing a little bit more on virtual as things settle down and becomes open we will um, you know revisit and redo those things also um, yeah there's a lot of other help and partnership that we do together to make sure that it's a success it's not just um, you know giving a quote or just you know getting an inquiry it's more about really making a sale with you and you and helping you to succeed in uh, closing the group and getting some results out of the group wonderful well, Harish and Justin, thank you again for hosting today's webinar, and thank you to all the travel advisors that attended. Um, we look forward to seeing you at future sessions. Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, everybody, thank you for much. attending.